Excuse me, sir. You your medical ID. Uh, it's okay. I'm just looking around. It's okay. I'm not going to buy anything. Yeah, that's cool, man. Right, thanks. Appreciate it. Howdy. Howdy. Can I help you? Yeah, um, I just got into town. <laughs> I'm just looking around, and I'm wondering, how does all this work? Oh, um, depends on what you're looking for. Mm. Um, we got gummies, mm -hmm. actual flour, CBD mm -hmm. oil, creams, uh, strictly for medicinal purposes. If you're just looking to get high, let me know. Take credit cards. It's cash only, sorry. Really? Mm. You only have one guard and no cameras. Where I come from, very risky. Uh, we don't get much crime here. Oh, that's good. So who owns this shithole? Uh, excuse me? I said, who owns this shithole? Uh, Bodie? Where's Bodie? In his office? Are you asking me or telling me? Go get Bodie. I, I can't leave his desk, man. Hey, put down the pork rinds and get Bodie. What? You heard me, Jumbo. Get Bodie. Listen, asshole, take a hike. Come on, man. It's time to go. You got a tire on? Yeah, I can go to yeah. the back. And... Forget it. Hey, yo, that's my juice. What... Shh. Anybody got the time? All right, listen, mister, I told you. <laughs> oh, my God. OK, what the fuck, Clint? You must be Bodie. Uh, yeah, who the, who are you? What's your name again? Clint. Clint. Stand next to Clint. Is this a robbery? Fred? Oh my God, is he dead? No, nah, he's taking a break. Excuse me, sweetheart. Are you waiting for an engraved invitation? I'm way too fucking high for this. Can, can I just wait it out over here, please? Put your phone on the counter and take a seat. I need to see your books. My books? Now, your books, your ledgers, files, whatever you got. Are you from the government? I just knocked your guard out cold, and you think I'm a CPA? So you're not with the government? Let's take a walk. Look at these numbers. You're making a fortune. <sighs> so where are you keeping this money? It's in the bank. I swear it's in the bank. Only states legalize this stuff. You put that money in the bank, and the feds will have it by morning. Even you're smart enough to know that. I'm not lying to you. Let me paint you a picture. You see my shoe? Yeah. I'm going to take the heel of my right shoe, which is very sharp, and stomp it very hard on the top of your left foot, breaking at least three or four metatarsals it's excruciating. I don't want to do it. So let me ask you again. Could it be in the desk? Could it be in the microwave? Or could the safe be behind that silly poster? You don't need to put yourself through this thing. I want to be your friend. I want you to be my friend. I don't want to hurt your feet. Just open the safe, please. My God. How much you got there? Half a million. This is how it's going to work. I'm going to take 20% a week. Hey, we all got bosses. Even I answer to somebody. But in exchange, I'll protect you from the gangs. What gangs? And the law. This is legal. And if you get attacked by a locust, I'll spray him. Please, don't make me have to be an asshole about this, OK? I protect you, and you pay me a commission. Capiche? A 
That's really all you're gonna take? What did I just say? We're partners. You make the money and I make sure you keep it. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Absolutely not. So what's this guy's name again? Uh, Jimmy. Creek Indian. Jimmy the Creek? That's rich. Where do you meet his cousin, Badface? Speaking of members of the tribe, I read the name on your grower's license, Lawrence Geigerman. That's your name? Are we on some anti-Semitic tip now? No, oh, come on. I love the Jews. I love Jewish food. So what's with this uh, Buddhist Bodhi, Bodhi nickname? Come on, you never had a handle in your line of work? Ooh. What do they used to call you? I was named after General Dwight Eisenhower, so they call me Cinque Stella. Five star. Bodie, where the hell are we? Sorry for the inconvenience, but uh, no one puts a 100-acre grow in a shatter lab on the side of US-85. How you doing? I'm Dwight. Uh, this is Jimmy's cousin, Badface. This is a staring contest. You got a last name, we'll shoot you. What's that mean? Literal translation is a greedy, non-Indian person who steals the fat. That's a first. You got a last name. You got a problem? I got serious problems, motherfucker. Okay, so we got off to a really bad start here, but I think we can turn this around. You ever been on a horse? You ever been on life support? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, take it easy, guys, come on! Hey, Jimmy! Easy, easy now. Sounds a little bit the fine Chiba won't fix. Hey, Dwight, you feeling it? There's a possibility. <laughs> Want some? No. Okay. Want some? Here. Beep. Are you just going to pull it away again? No, of course not. Trust me. Boom. <laughs> okay. I want you to get a little nuts, too. You know, I feel like Rip Van Winkle. You wake up after 25 years, GM has gone electric, Dylan's gone public. A phone is a camera. Coffee, five bucks a cup. And the Stones, bless their heart, they're still on tour. What? Now that, that's music. Turn it up, turn it up. It up, Bodie. I understand, but I don't have control over that. Turning your brain up. That won't do it. Wait. 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 Wait my whole life. Wait. Wait. Is that what this is? Not really. It's just what they call it. Oh. You stand in that circle, 
and nobody outside of it can hear a sound. No shit. Try it. What do I say? It won't matter. I won't be able to hear you anyway. All right. Horse. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I told you, nobody can hear anything. People talk to God in there. Hold up. There you go. What's that? Get yourself something good to eat. I don't want any of your scuzzy money. Morning. Morning. I'm Paul Cheevers. Mm-hmm. I'll be administering your test, Mr. Manfredi. No, call me Dwight. OK, Dwight. OK, Paul. Well, once you're ready, so let me pull out and make a left. God damn it. Been a while. So just 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 pull out and make a left. That's what we're gonna start off with. Just making a left. Okay. So are you a new driver? Nah, you kidding? I've been driving my whole life. I just relocated from New York and they said I had to take a test again. I went to New York once in the 80s. The heyday. Parents now got mugged by a guy with a samurai sword. It's not for everybody. So have you make a right. After this light, so you pull over and make a K turn. Okay, dog. So, Paul, how am I doing? Excellent. It's obvious that you're an experienced driver. Some of these kids... Ow! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Stay down! Dying. You're not dying. If you were dying, you'd already be dead. What are you doing? I got a partial plate. No. Come here. Stop. You're gonna infect it. Dying. Yeah. You didn't see anything, Paul. Nothing. Okay. Everybody okay? Afternoon, officer. Fast. Fuck. 
close to truth. Jesus, I know what I fucking knew it. Get on your knees. I'm going to say a name. And you can ask me yes or no. It's very simple. Chicky. Chicky? What about Chicky? Turn around. I don't... You better start talking or I promise your brains are going to be all over this fucking kitchen. Chicky, what? I got no fucking idea what you're asking me. Chicky, what? Just tell me and I'll tell you, please. Did he send you here to kill me? Yes or no? No. No. I haven't even seen Chicky in over 20 years. So who hired you? Hired me? I don't even know what you're talking about. You gonna tell me that wasn't you who tried to take me out the other? Dang! Ow! Who sent you? You came here to kill me! What the fuck was I supposed to do? Wait! I got a wife! I got kids! When I saw you at the mall, I figured Chicky's the one who sent you here to kill me! I got no beef with you, Dwight. Not you, not New York, not fucking anybody. But Jesus Christ, why the fuck else would you be in Tulsa? Sugar. What? You got sugar? Oh, we have a, what do you call it, agave. What the fuck's that? No idea. So let me get this right. I'm a year in the middle of nowhere. And just by some coincidence, you're here too. And you try to shoot me because you think I'm here to shoot you. Is that the line of defense you're going with? On my kid's eyes, I fucking swear. It's the God's honest truth. My wife's gonna be home any minute now. She doesn't know anything. I'll leave a note. Tico Tavares! What? Tico Tavares. What about him? In prison, they set you up. I tried to warn you, but I couldn't get through. You said they tried to set me up. Who's they? Pete. My Pete? You fucking liar. He was afraid you'd flip. Fucking 25 years, come on. Nobody does that kind of time. I did. I know you did, but most of these guys, I was afraid they'd kill me because of what I knew. That's why I skipped town. I've been here 19 years, Dwight. I built a, a, a life. Pete. You mow your lawn? What? Do you mow your grass? Yeah, sure. You know, I've never mowed a lawn, never, not once in my entire life. You grew up in Brooklyn, so... Dwight, I'm sorry. I didn't rat on anybody. I didn't want to hurt nobody. I just wanted out. You know, that ain't the way it goes, right? Our thing. 25 years ago, Armand, you fucked up. And I went away for what became a third of my life. And then you tried to put a bullet in my head. I, I, I swear to God, I was just I'm trying to- I'm talking. You work for me now, understand, like you always have. I expect an envelope every Saturday. We'll start at 300 bucks a week. Right. this ain't New York, it's fucking Tulsa. I didn't tell you to move here. Of course, the one time I am running late, I can... I'll send over some sugar. <laughs> they finally got here. Hey. How you doing? What a sight of sore I'm, uh, <laughs> hanging in there. That's good. Where's everybody? Chicky, Nico. They took off uh, to the club. Mm -hmm. How you doing? You good? Mm-hmm. I'm very good. I brought you this from my brother's wake. I saw you about that. I'm sure you would have been there if you could. Are you kidding me? Of course. I was thinking the other day, Pete, that when I was in the joint, I used to think about the good old days and friends, family, 
Good times. When you finally get out, you look around, you realize the good old days were not really that good. Yeah, it's a, an adjustment. Sure, it's an adjustment. Because now I realize what I missed. To see my daughter grow up, become a woman, get married. And she did all that without me protecting her. And that kills me. Because that's what a good father does. Protects the ones that are responsible for him. The ones they love. And then there's you. You swore on the soul of your mother you'd watch out for my wife, my kid. You swore that. And then this Nico. Did you know? No, what, what the fuck? What are you talking about? I'm not following you, you what? Did you fucking know? <laughs> you didn't. Just hanging around, seeing old friends, tending to the garden, and getting interrogated and raided by the fucking FBI. Seriously? Yeah, I'm fucking serious. Oh, and by the way, they cleaned out the safe, took all my cash as well as my product. What did I tell you? Too soon. Mitch, you want to do the honors? Not really, but I got this. What's happening? Easy part. The last thing I want to do is run my hands over your lumpy body. I gotta pat you down. For starters, it would have been really thoughtful if you'd have wiped your hands first, considering you just ate ribs. Okay, that's not a wire. It's clean. You owe me. And second, are you fucking kidding me, Dwight? I don't know where you've been. For all we know, you could have flipped. Do people who flip usually lead off with the fact that they were interrogated and raided by the feds? No, they don't. But what did you tell them? The truth that we're business partners. Business partners? Yeah, because we are. That's it? That's all you said? That and something to the effect that they can fuck off and leave me alone, but essentially, yes. Why'd you say that? Honestly, I don't know why I didn't call the FBI the day you walked into my shop. I probably should have, but I didn't. Christmas came early. Stay there. You're welcome. What's that? Everything you thought you lost. We had a gut feeling these guys were gonna raid, so we put it all on ice. Hey, don't you fucking kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I join you for dinner? Please do. Hi. How you doing? 
Good. Though I did notice that the mountain of cash that was in my safe never found its way into those duffel bags. Yeah, I was gonna tell you about that. I got an idea for a new investment. What are you looking at me like that for? You don't even know what I'm gonna say. You're right. This could be any number of harebrained schemes. Go on. Where do you get the fucking balls? Seriously, I put guys in traction for saying less. But I'm the golden goose, Dwight. You're not gonna hurt me. Yeah, well, the golden goose got whacked, pal. Just saying. Wanna hear my idea? Yeah. Okay, read the book. We partner up, you and me and Mitch. We do renovations, get some girls, little live music, put a casino in the back. A casino? Yeah. How's that gonna work? Too many creek. Put his name on the license and run it through the National Indian Gaming Commission. How much does that cost? The license? Nothing. Maybe a half a million bucks to grease the wheels. Half a million dollars. Listen, it may take a little while to get it, but it's gonna be fucking worth it. Think about it. When you own a casino, you got a license to print money. A license to launder it, too. There you go. Dwight, are you familiar with NFTs, crypto? Yeah, I don't like it. Why not? Because you can't see them, you can't touch them, you can't feel them, you can't put ketchup on them. To me, they're not real. They are very real, even though you can't pour ketchup on them. Do you buy Bitcoin? No. I steal from other people who buy Bitcoin. Holy shit. Is that real? Did you really think you were the only criminal in Tulsa? All right, fellows and lady, you hold the gun in your hand. You bend your knees. Use the other hand to steady it. You place the target in between the sights. And then you slowly and calmly pull back on the trigger. You do not fucking jerk it! Let's go again. Oh, I suck at this. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Why are we practicing again? Doing. Nothing. I, look, I, I feel very uncomfortable with the idea of shooting somebody. You know what's more uncomfortable? Someone's shooting you. You know, before you came along, I had never even held a gun before. I'm trying to save your ass. Appreciate it. What the fuck are you doing? I got my own style. Didn't you hear what Mitch said to you? You got your own style. You know what your style is? You're gonna hit everything except what you're aiming at. Look, the gun is not made that way. You hold it sideways, the physics will take it that way. Basic physics. Man, what's up, motherfucker? Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up is you look like an idiot and a dead one. Dwight. What are we doing here, man? Dealing with the bad news fucking bear. Yeah, well, tell me about it. I'm looking for some evil doing buddies here. Your friends need some money? I got a couple boys in the rodeo. They're gunning for some cash. Yeah, this ain't a rodeo. And they're ex cons, if that makes it any better. Definitely helps. Get them. Jane Wayne. There's a cowboy named John Wayne. I'm saying Jane Wayne is kind of a takeoff on it. Who taught you to shoot like that? My dad. Yeah? That's nice. So you had activities together. It's nice. Yeah, not really. Well, I understand that, too. No, you don't. He shot himself two years ago. Shit. I'm sorry. Can I ask why we're doing all this? Are there people after us? Just very curious, because the last thing I wanted to do was shoot a gun again. 
It's important to learn how to defend yourself. Of course, but what the fuck did we do to get dragged into your shit? You didn't do anything. This is all on me. Except it isn't. It's on all of us, too. Whether we like it or not, we're living the Dwight life. Look, I don't know what else to say, Grace. How about you're really fucking sorry for turning our lives upside down? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean... Fine. Thank you. Listen, we're all adults, okay? We know what happens when you play with other people's toys, so we're not going anywhere. That said, you're a smart guy. Our leader. So lead us out of this shit. And next time, just take a moment and think about being careful with our little, just regular lives, okay? Okay. Will you put this fucking gun down? Not too long ago, I got off a plane. And I gotta say, it was like I got off on a different planet. Everything was sideways, upside down. I didn't know one person, not one. And at my tender young age, that's scary. I admit it, scary. Because to me, being alone, living alone, and dying alone, it's like the worst curse God could ever put on anybody. I've always thought of life as like this one-way street, and you head down it, and as you do, it sort of disappears behind you. So, you can only go one direction forward. And looking way down there, you see a city, but it's on fire, and it's red hot. And like I said before, you can't go back once you've started this damn journey. You can only go forward. So, you got two choices. One, you get scared, you give up, and then you burn up. And the second one, You just say, like, fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck fear! And you barrel through it. And when you come out on the other side, I guarantee you, you're gonna be stronger than you ever thought possible. But none of this shit is ever gonna happen unless we all cover each other's backs and we all become part of each other's family. We do that, I swear to you, we're gonna put this fire out once and for all. I'll drink to that. Hell yeah. You're here. All right, bar's open.